hello beautiful loves and welcome back to today's episode of Daily J. I apologize if there's any background noise. I'm out on my front steps tonight and there's people walking in and out. Um, just watching the most amazing sunset. It's absolutely freaking stunning and feeling so super grateful for being in LA. Um, my last week here, this week, which is insane, it's gone so slowly but also like the last probably month especially has gone so fast I can't even believe it um yeah just feeling so grateful today for all the people that I've met the experiences I've had and the strength that I've gained I think I realized the other day that life is not getting any easier I'm just getting stronger and the way or my ability to cope and my ability to thrive in this life that I've been plonked into isn't dependent on life getting any less difficult or challenges getting any less crazy or hectic or whatever like life doesn't life doesn't have to get any easier we just have to get stronger and we just get to get stronger we have the opportunity to get stronger every single day and I don't know for me I've definitely been working cultivating that inner strength and especially like there's such a big mirror and there's such a big parallel between physical strength, emotional strength and mental strength. And for me, my physical strength has always been a reflection of my mental strength. And like the physical games that we play, you guys, whether it's working out, going to the gym, I've just started boxing recently. One of the guys here um, that I've been seeing is a trainer and it's like the European champion of Jiu Jitsu. He's competing at the World Championships and he's taking me through some boxing lessons. He calls me his little warrior and he's taking me through some boxing training and it's just showing me, it's just reminded me how powerful it is um, having a physical practice that challenges us in creating mental strength and in creating strength in every other area of our lives because it becomes like a practice arena like the boxing ring or the gym or the treadmill or the racetrack it becomes like this controlled arena in which we can practice overcoming obstacles and we can practice overcoming our limits we can practice reaching or going beyond what we thought was possible we can practice coming up against resistance and pushing through it and it's like whether it's a soul cycle class or a boxing match or a jiu-jitsu fight or whatever it is you guys there are these beautiful opportunities for us to practice coming up against our limits our edges our limiting beliefs our fears I don't know about you guys but nothing brings up my limiting beliefs or my fears more than like being underneath the heaviest weights that I've ever lifted or having to do five minutes of straight cross jabs on the freaking boxing bag or having to do a whole nother set of like 10 reps of squats with the biggest weight that you've ever lifted after you're already freaking physically exhausted like nothing brings up my limiting beliefs more but it's this beautiful opportunity for us to prove to ourselves what we're capable of and it creates this reference point that we can look back on and say you know what fuck yes I did that like I, I lifted the weight I did the final rep like I finished the exercise I smashed it and it creates these little mini confidence boosts and strengthens our faith, faith within ourselves to be able to go out and do that in the spiritual realm and the metaphysical realm and also in um, the mental and emotional realms as well whether it's in the work that we're doing whether it's in our relationships I've been tested so much in my relationships you guys like there's been so many opportunities for me to coming up against like walls coming up against obstacles difficult like situations and there's been so many opportunities for me to retreat back into my smaller self to yell to scream to be immature to be a little girl and each and every time because I've been cultivating hey no come on out it's fine yeah. <laughs> um, because I've been like cultivating that physical strength it's so much easier than for me to have the emotional strength to take the high road to choose that to choose maturity to choose soul to choose my higher self to choose the path of you know the path of high ground whatever it is yeah. and I'm just oh, thought I had my shirt on inside out there for a second um, but 
it's so much easier for me to do that because I've had the practice in the physical arena. So that's just something that's been coming up for me lately and something that I wanted to share with you guys. But feeling so super grateful. I did a podcast interview today um, with the amazing, incredible, ineffable Sean Graves. Um, if you haven't heard of Sean, go and look him up ASAP. He's just the most beautiful human being. We just had the most like epic connection instantly. And I'm um, just so grateful for the opportunity to chat with him today. We ended up having like a four hour conversation before we'd even started filming because we hadn't met yet. So we just got to know each other for a little while first. And then, um, yeah, then sat down to do the podcast interview and you guys like, holy fuck, we covered everything from spirituality, like as a foundation, obviously, um, like basically, like as a, on the most basic level, um, delved into like the divine feminine, what that means for me, talked about energy like meridian points on the earth talked about surrender so so important surrender what it means how to practice it oh it's a shadow in my face um we talked about our dreams and visions for the future like what our idea of utopia looks like we just we talked about so much it just it was just the most like the broadest conversation that i've had in a podcast for a really long time and it was just so much fun and so beautiful and like when I was talking to Sean, like what struck me was how easy it was to connect with him and how easy it was to form that beautiful relationship in such a short space of time. And I think that boiled down to how present we both were and how tapped in we all were, or we both were to like our higher self and our inner guidance. And it was almost just like there was no or very few barriers to connection between us anymore. And the conversation just it flowed really naturally it was really easy and I just I felt so privileged to be able to witness his like spirit and see his soul as he was talking to me like it was just the coolest thing ever and you know there's so much magic born in the wake of those connections like connecting with people who are on the same wavelength who who see the world in the same way as you and it's never a case of like only connecting with those people or only surrounding yourself with people who have the same ideas about the planet and the world and life and what we're doing here as you do because to me that's like you know unproductive at best and destructive at worst but there is something so refreshing about and so life affirming and so gratifying about having a conversation with someone who uses the same language as you do that has the same terminology and the same frame of reference for looking at the world and the same lens um, we are we our paths we are on such similar paths and we've had such parallel journeys and experiences especially over the last 12 months it's been so much stuff that's coming up for both of us and like lessons that we're learning in really similar ways one in particular was like this idea of security and how we both had at really similar points actually like towards the early last year like the beginning of 2016 we both had everything that we had placed um, everything that we thought we needed to create a sense of stability and security in our lives was stripped away from us completely. So for me, it was my house, for him, it was his car, like all of the things, all of the places, all the external places that we placed our need for security or our sense of security in were taken away one by one um, because God was showing us that our security comes from within and that we actually don't need anything external whatsoever. We talked about non attachment, that was a huge one. I can't wait for you to. For you guys to hear what we said um the whole story and the story that i told about it but this idea of like literally detaching from anything that would keep us tied to the world so whatever we're like this idea that whatever we're holding on to the most tightly or whatever we're holding on to most is what we most need to let go of whether it's an idea about our future whether it's a vision that we have whether it's like a relationship that we're trying to make work whether it's like an identity, an old identity that we're so like, that is like such a part, big part of who we are. The more attached we are to it, the more important it is for us to let it go. And the second that what happens when we create attachment or what happens when we have attachments is that we create resistance and we create blockages to experiencing anything better or anything more. And I kind of narrow it down to like, cause it's, like that fine line between how do I have a vision and hold on to that vision unashamedly and unapologetically and unwaveringly while also being unattached. And the way that I spoke about it in the interview and the way that I'll share with you guys now is that I anchor into my potential and the reality of who I really am, like my higher self, my divine self, like my God self, as often as possible or like every single day, like as a non-negotiable. And then I trust that whatever I'm guided to do that day, whatever I'm guided to do in my business, in my life, in my finances, in my relationships, 
is taking me towards that vision or is acting out of that vision. So I'm not attached to like, of course, there's things that I want to do. Of course, there's things I have on my list of like my bucket list and things to do before I'm 30 and 40 and 50 and all of those things. But I'm not attached to the external. I'm not attached to the outcome. I'm anchored into the essence of who I really am. And I trust that God has a plan for my life and that God has a plan for me to outwork that and live that out in a way that's like far greater than anything I can even conceive of or imagine. And for me, divine surrender and releasing attachment to those external worldly achievements, goals, accomplishments, ideas, visions that we have for our life is the wisest thing that we can do because it's acknowledging and understanding that there is a force and a power that is so much greater than us that sees things from a perspective that we can't even imagine that has infinite intelligence at its disposal and if we have access to that and the wisest thing to do is to surrender up every part of our lives and our relationships to that why wouldn't we right like if we have access to it why wouldn't we um but go and listen to the podcast and you'll hear you'll hear all of the juicy details um I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about I think that's it for tonight um I've just started seeing someone you guys and I don't think this is going to turn into more of a vlog than a daily J but that's what it's all about um started seeing someone and this is like so unexpected it's insane um, but I can't, it's like, I can't deny, <laughs> I can't deny the connection. It's one of those things that even if I pushed it away, like even if I was in my old frame of mind where I thought I could control everything and push everything away if it didn't align with like my idea of what I thought I wanted, this I couldn't. Like it's just, it's this undeniable connection. Um, and that's all I'll say about it for now. Watch this space. <laughs> all right. I love you guys endlessly. And um, oceans of love, sending you oceans of love. Have the most amazing day ever, and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Daily J. I don't know if I should call it the Daily J or just Daily J. I haven't decided yet, but either or. <laughs> All right, I love you.